Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to discuss a very simple question about finding equation of parallel and vertical lines. Okay, now what are the facts that we know of that are given? Okay, now you got line L1 having the equation of y is equal to 3x plus 2. And the 2 is this y-intercept and 3 is the gradient or the slope. And what other information is? You've got L2 and L3 both passing from the point 4, comma 1. So this is 4 and this is 1. Okay, now what are the other information? Now these two lines are parallel. So this is how you can write L1 is parallel to L2. And L, L1 and L3 are vertical l1 is perpendicular or vertical to l3 and l l2 and l3 are passing through are passing through 4 1 so these are the three pieces of information that we have now from this information we want to find what's the equation of L2 and what's the equation of L3. Now before we go, I want to go over some facts that you need to know. So I've drawn two parallel lines, L1 and L2 are parallel. L1 has a y-intercept of C1 and L2 has a y-intercept of C2. So this is one fact which is very obvious that if two lines are parallel, they should have the same slope or gradient. So here we are saying the gradient of L1 is M1 and the gradient of L2 is M2. And we also know that L1 is parallel to L2. So we can say M1, which is the slope of L1, is equal to M2, the slope of L2. Now I've taken a simple example, y is equal to 2x plus 3, where 2 is the gradient and 3 is the y-intercept. Suppose you can say this is L1, or whatever so these are two equation so we can if you compare this with uh, yeah so this you can compare you can see this is say your l1 and this is your l2 so let us let me show you on a graphic calculator how it looks like so if you have a graphic calculator it's a wonderful to, tool to learn maths to see things graphically so i'm going to graph y is equal to 2x plus 3 so y is equal to 2x plus 3. And the next equation is 2x plus 1. And let us graph it. So this is the first equation, 2x plus 3. This is your y-intercept. This, this is 1, 2, 3. And this is your L2. So can you see they are parallel? So two lines are parallel if they have the same gradient. Okay. So let us move on to the next fact that we need to know. Now I've drawn L1 and L2. They're vertical or they're perpendicular to each other. When you say vertical or perpendicular, they meet each other at a right angle. So this is a right angle and uh, they are perpendicular. So we are saying L1 has an equation, general equation of M1x plus C1. Okay, so C1 is your y-intercept. And L2 has the general equation of M2, X plus C2. Now, this is very important. You need to know this fact. It's not very obvious. You can prove this, but our focus is not to prove this. Okay, so this is an important result. If two lines are perpendicular or vertical or normal, if you multiply the gradients, they would be negative 1. So I take an example of two vertical lines or perpendicular lines. L1, which is y is equal to 2x plus 3, and L2 is half of x plus 2. So here in our case, your M1 is 2, and your M2 is negative half. So let me show you. M1 times M2 would be 2 times negative half, okay, which is 2 times 0 0.2 negative 0 0.5, which is 
it's negative one. I'll show this on a calculator. Suppose let me get the calculator out. So menu run two times negative zero point five equal negative one. Okay. So just for to write this in a different way, this is same as y is equal to negative 0.5x plus 5. Okay, so let me grab this and show you on a calculator. So the first equation is, go to graph first. First equation is 2x plus 3. And the second equation is negative 0.5x plus 5. If you can write instead of plus 5 you could have written anything but I have written 5 so this is first so you can't see it you scroll up like this okay let me go scroll up one more yeah one more now you can see these two lines this is the first line which is y is equal to 2x plus 3 this first line and this is the other line and can you see they are perpendicular or vertical to each other so if you know these facts we can solve this example so let us go back. So we know we want to find L2, the equation of L2. Okay. So how do we say? We know L1 is parallel to L2. Okay. So M1 is the gradient of L1. I'll write grad of L1 is 3. So we know that L1 is parallel to L2. So M2, which is the grad or gradient of L2, would also be 3 because they have to have the same gradient. So what can I write? So can I say L2 would have this equation of y is equal to 3x plus c. Now c is a y-intercept. By just looking at this y-intercept, you can see the y-intercept will go somewhere and hit somewhere in the negative. So I'll show you. So let me highlight this. So what do I mean? If you say extend this, okay, and suppose let me also extend this. So can you see it is going to go and hit somewhere in the negative part of your y-axis. So just by looking at I can say c has to be negative. So how can I find c? So what else do we know about line L2? Okay, L2 passes through which point? L2 passes through 4, 1. So let me write that. Now, L2 passes through, through 4, 1. So how will, how will this help me? So we know this is your x value and this is your y value so this means i can put x as 4 and y as 1 where in this equation so i'm going to put that so i can say now in place of y i can put 1 so i can say 1 is equal to in place of x i have to put 4 so 3 times 4 plus c okay so now i can say 1 is equal to 12 plus C. So if you take away 12 from this side, if you take away 12 from this side. So this becomes, this and this gets cancelled. So I can say C is equal to negative 11. Okay, so equation is of L2 would be Y is equal to 3X minus 11. Okay, so let me finish off the last part. Uh, okay, let us check this, how will the graph look like. So the first equation was 3x plus 2, and the second equation is 3x minus 11. So let me graph and show you that. So menu, go to graph. First equation was 3x, sorry, 3x, let's delete this, 3x plus 2. And the second equation is 3x minus 11. And see how it looks like. Can you see the lines are parallel? So our equation is right. Okay, now let us go back. We want to find the equation of L3. 
and we know equation of L1. So what do we know about L1 and L3? So uh, let me use a blue color. So we know L1 is perpendicular to L3, which implies uh, M1 times M2. Uh, suppose let me write M3, yeah. M1 times M3 should be negative 1. Now, M1 is the gradient of L1. Gradient of L1 is 3. Okay. So, M2, we want to find M3. So, can I say M1? Okay. So, let me delete this. So, can I say... Uh, my 3 times m3 is equal to negative 1, which implies m3 is negative 1 third. Okay, so the gradient of l3, so you can say the gradient of l3 is equal to negative 1 third. Okay, so we can say equation of equation of L3 would be y is equal to negative one-third x plus c. And same logic, L3 is passing through, <coughs> excuse me, L, L3 is passing through, L3 is passing through one, four comma one. So I'm going to say that again. So L3 passes through comma 1. So I'm going to put this into this equation, which means I can put x as 4 and y as 1. So same as we did in the previous example. So I can say 1 is equal to negative 1, 4 plus c. So I can say 1 is equal to negative 4 thirds plus c. So I'm going to add Four third to both sides, so one plus four thirds is equal to c, and one I can write as three thirds plus four thirds is equal to c, which implies c is seven thirds. Okay, so the equation of equation of L three would be y is equal to negative one third x plus seven thirds, which can also be written as y is equal to negative x over three plus seven thirds. So we are we want to check whether how the graph looks like. So let us go back to the graph menu and I'll type in y is equal to three x plus two was our first equation. And the second equation is minus x divided by 3 plus 7 divided by 3. And let's see how the graph looks like. Okay, here we go. Can you see the graph are perpendicular to each other? So graphically, we can say the equation that we got is right. See you in the next video.